Hi everybody, I'm Al Rochelle and welcome back to the PCS Journal. Something called National Apprenticeship Week. Now this is a program that's designed to give people apprenticeships where they can learn with the pros while they're going to school. It's a tremendous, tremendous program. We want you to take a look at it. Well today's about honoring our apprenticeship coordinators, our apprenticeship committees, and our apprentices that participate in apprenticeship programs here at Pinellas Technical College, both at St. Pete and at Clearwater. Well, it's important that we uh, recognize our apprenticeship partners because they actually train and put to work people in a variety of occupations, construction, uh, public works, uh, firefighting, a variety of, of occupations that are highly technical and require a, a level of training beyond what normally a, a person might get. And it's connected with jobs and the training. And it's important that we honor them or recognize them because the work they do is very valuable. Or an apprentice in the apprenticeship uh, gives them the ability to uh, you know, learn the trade and uh, working alongside the electricians, learn how to do things. Um, while learning why to do things, you know, learning the code, learning the theory behind things. Um, and it's, you know, it's not something that's readily available out there. We appreciate the celebration, but it's more important to get the word out. Very few people really know about apprenticeship programs and the value they have to the community and the workforce. So it's more important to let people understand exactly how apprenticeship works and that apprenticeship is available in order to build the future workforce needed to run our economy. Well, in our community, it ob obviously it provides a, uh, a more formal path to a, a, an exciting career that lasts quite a long time. Uh, heating and air conditioning is something that's going to be around forever if people need to be comfortable. Uh, our program has been in existence now for 23 years and we've enjoyed uh, our partnership with uh, uh, Pinellas Technical College during that entire span of time. Uh, apprenticeship programs are very important. Um, it gives students um, a leg up on their competitors once they graduate uh, because they have the, the learning and the experience that they need to uh, start their jobs and there are a lot of uh, uh, students that can be successful right out of uh, high school or right out of a uh, technical school. You know, it, it, as our city continues to grow and, in, in, uh, you know, we are seeing a growth in, in, uh, in numbers that we've never seen in our history, uh, the, the, the needs uh, for uh, skilled workers, whether they're uh, pipe fitters or plumbers or electricians or carpenters, you know, masonry workers, you know, across the gamut, uh, it just continues to grow. And so having a program that, and the training that they offer here, and the opportunities that come with that experience and that training uh, are invaluable for us. You know, today's a pretty special day because it kind of uh, illustrates what I'm seeing in St. Pete a lot, which is um, the partnerships of the organizations that allow all of our, anybody in St. Pete to uh, be part of our economy. And quite frankly, the, especially these apprenticeship programs are I think the heart and soul of uh, what makes St. Pete great, what makes America great right now, which is our ability for everybody to get a skill set. Well, the good thing about, about the apprenticeship program is that you, you, you earn while you learn. That's our motto with the apprenticeships. The apprentices, um, they're not only in the field learning, but they're also making money. They're in the field working, and the main idea is to learn the trade. It's been doing, we've been doing it for thousands of years. When you went to Bill Tiffany last year, My main goal here today is to get them to speak one-on-one -on -one with these apprentices, to try to get the kids interested into entering the construction industry, because we have so many uh, people retiring out of the construction industry, and we don't have enough young people coming into the industry. So I'm interested in getting the uh, kids into apprenticeship programs, learning what apprenticeships do, learning how they learn the trades in the field.